Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I'll be discussing another lesson. Actually, it's still about multiplication. But then, today I'll be discussing another technique. Okay, in doing multiplication. The last time ang diniscuss ko is when we multiply, we just multiply the numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and then after, simplify kung pwedeng simplify. Okay, but today, I'll be discussing another topic and that will be multiplication using cancellation. Okay, so multiplication using cancellation, what does it mean? Magka-cancel tayo sa numbers dito. Okay, so when we do cancellation, you always remember that we can only cancel numerator and denominator. Hindi pwedeng numerator, numerator, hindi pwedeng denominator, denominator. Okay? At pag sinabi natin cancellation, yun yung pagde-divide. Okay? Yun yung pagde-divide natin. So, when we say dividing, it's like we are simplifying it first para pag natapos nating mag-cancel or mag-simplify nang pwede natin i-simplify dito, the answer is the final answer or the simplified answer already. Okay? So, to further understand what I'm talking again, ganito ang gagawin natin. So, dito, 4 fifth times 12 over 16. Actually, dito sa 12 over 16, pwede na natin siyang isimplify. Okay? Isimplify kasi ang 12 at 16 is still divisible by what number? Both of them, they are divisible by 4. Okay? So, 12 divided by 4. So, this becomes 3. Okay? And 16 divided by 4 becomes 4. Okay, next. So, na-simplify na natin, naging 3 fourths na lang siya. Now, the next thing is we can still do cancellation. Why? Because dito yung 4, numerator yan, and then yung denominator dito is 4. 4 and 4 pwede nating makancel because 4 and 4 can be divided by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 again is 1. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay, so ngayon, since wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel out, now we can continue multiplying. Okay, so yung i-multiply natin dito ay kung ano yung mga natira. So ang natira dito is just 1 and 3. So i-multiply natin 1 times 3 is equal to 3. At dito, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. So, ang final answer natin is 3 fifths. Okay? So, yun. So, since nag, nag gumawa na tayo ng cancellation, ang final answer natin is already in simplified version. Okay? So, that's how we do cancellation. Next, again, dito sa 8 over 20 times 2 over 24. So, then again, pwede natin, pwede tayong mag-simplify or mag-cancel out ng 8 and 20 at pwede ring 2 and 24 before we do cross-multiply ng cancellation. Okay, so by the way, pag nagka-cancellation tayo, pwede cross-multiply basta yung isa numerator, yung isa denominator. Okay, don't forget that. Hindi pwedeng parehong numerator, hindi pwedeng parehong denominator. Kailangan numerator, denominator. Pwedeng sa kabila at sa kabila. Or pwede ring sa both na fraction mo. Basta numerator at denominator. Okay? So, dito sa fraction na to, pwede nating i-cancel ang 8 at 20. Okay? Because 8 and 20 is divisible by 4. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay? So, don't forget, dinivide natin yun ng 4. Kaya ito naging 2 at eto, dinivide natin ng 20, kaya ito naging 5. Okay? So, pag nagka-cancel tayo, pareho yung number na i-divide. Hindi pwedeng magkaiba. Okay? Kasi yun yung GCF nila, kumbaga. Okay? Next, we move to this one. 2 and 24. So, 2 and 24 can be cancelled or divided by what number? 2 and 24. By 2. So, this is 2 divided by 2 becomes 1 and 24 divided by 2 becomes 12. 
Next. 1 and 12, 2 and 15. So, dito, 2 at 20, 12, I'm sorry, ay pwede pang makancel. Okay? Because 2 and 12 can still be divided by 2. So, eto ikakancel natin. Divide natin ng 2. 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. At eto, 12 divided by 2 becomes 6. Okay? So, ano na yung natira? It's 1, 6 at 1, 5. Now that wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel pa, we can now proceed to multiplication. Okay? So, 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 6 is 30. So, the final answer here is 1 over 30. Okay? Next is what if the fraction is mixed and just a simple fraction. So, the first thing here is you need to simplify or you need to make this into improper. Diba? Naalala nyo yung sinabi ko last time sa rule. Bago mag-multiply, kailangan gawin improper yung mixed number. At since eto mixed number, gagawin muna natin siyang improper bago tayo mag-multiply at mag-cancel out. Okay? So, eto 1 times 4 plus 2 is 6 over 4 times 4 over 6. Okay? So, eto, pwede na nating mag-cancel. Pwede na tayong mag-cancel pag ganon, pwede rin dito pag ganyan. So, we can, we can do anything ng cancellation kasi possible naman sila. Okay? So, for this one, mas madaling i-cancel out ang 4 at 4. Kasi, pareho silang 4, so i-divide natin sila by 4. This becomes 1 and this becomes 1. Okay, next, 6 and 6 also, divide by 6, so becomes 1, divide by 6, it becomes 1. So, the final answer here will be 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So, 1 over 1 is 1 whole, is equal to 1 whole. So, yun yung final answer. You understand? Okay, next, another is eto. So, this one naman, pareho siyang mixed number. So, bago tayo mag-multiply ulit, kailangan natin siyang gawing improper. So, 3 times 10 plus 5 is 35 over 10 times 1 times 7 plus 5 is 12 over 7. Okay, now we let's do cancellation. So, dito, 12 and 7 hindi mo makakancel out. Pero, ang 35 by 10, pwede siyang i-cancel out. By what number? By 5. So, 35 and 10, 35 divided by 5 is 7. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay? Next, pwede mo pang makancel out ang 7 at 7. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. At 7 divided by 7 is 1. Another, pwede rin natin makancel out ang 2 at 12. Why? Because 2 and 12 can be divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, ang final numbers natin ay 1 and 6, 1 and 1. So, 1 times 6 is 6 over 1 times 1 is 1. So, take note here. 6 over 1. Since the denominator is 1, it is always equal to a whole number. So, this one, 6 over 1 is always equal to 6. Okay? Don't forget that. Pag ang denominator ay, are, pag ang denominator, I'm sorry, I 1, it is always equal to a whole number. Okay? Next, eto. 10 times 1 and 2 fifths. So, anong gagawin natin dito? I-change muna natin tong Mix na to sa improper. So, 1 times 5 times 2, that will be 7 over 5. Times etong whole number na to, pag irasulat natin siya sa fraction, don't, don't forget, ang whole number, pag isusulat mo siya sa fraction, laging ang denominator ay 1. Okay? So, pag sinulat natin siya sa fraction, magiging 10 over 1. Kahit ano pang 
Whole cool number yan, pag isusulat mo siya sa fraction, laging 1 ang denominator. Okay, next, we can do cancellation. So, 7 and 5 cannot be, 10 and 1 cannot be, pero 10 and 5 we can. Okay, so 10 and 5 can be divisible by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, 2, 1, 1, and 7. So, since wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel out dyan, we can now move on to multiplication. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14 over 1 times 1 is 1. So, since the denominator is 1 here again, then the final answer will just be a whole number 14. Okay? Next is this one. So, improper again. I'm sorry. Um, mix and we need to change to improper again before we multiply. So, 3 times 7 plus 4, that will be 25 over 7. Times, since 28 ay whole number, pag sinulat natin siya sa fraction, magiging 28 over 1. Laging 1 ang denominator. Next, we can now do cancellation only for 7 and 28. Because 7 and 28, pwede siyang ma-divide by... 7. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay? So, now we need to multiply. 25 times 4 is equal to 100. 1 times 1 is 1. At since ang denominator na naman ay 1, then ang final answer natin dito is just 100. Okay, so that's how we multiply fractions using cancellation. So as you can see, pag nag-cancel out tayo, yung final answer natin ay laging nasa simplified form na. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something again.